Localization. That's for me personally a very important and a very dedicated theme to talk about. There are many opinions of people who say a normal stereo is not possible and not suitable in arenas. I totally agree with that because our regular panorama is working with intensities. So that means you pan a signal to the left side, for example the first violins, as because they are sitting on the left side, you lower the volume of the first violins for the people who are sitting far on the outer right side, vice versa with the celli. So the people on the far right side will hear less first violins and vice versa, because you do the same with the celli, the people on the far left side will hear less celli. For the people in the middle it is as they see it. That's fine for them, they get both speakers, but for the people at the outside, who of course only can hear mono because there's only one loudspeaker, they have totally wrong balances of the mix. So you more or less you should give them 50% of the entrance fee back, because they only hear 50% of the mix. When I started to have these huge shows with high channel counts, with excellent musicians, that always annoyed me and I was thinking of a way how to treat Panorama to have a stereo feeling and without losing the people on the, uh, on the outsides. First I started with the first violins to mix them to the left and to the right side. Of course then I get the feeling of a stereo image but the stereo image was wrong because I had violins on the left and on the right which is definitely not the way an orchestra is sitting. After that I started to work with time differences. For example I started with giving one millisecond to the right side. So a signal, uh, violin, zero milliseconds on the left PA and plus one millisecond on uh, the right PA. That only works for the people which are exactly in the middle. By the way one of the reasons I never put my mixing console directly in the middle. The benefit, or the people who can benefit of that one millisecond, what can you imagine how big is the amount of people who can have this benefit? I calculated with a PA, with a base of 20 meters, and as well when I say a row of people which is 20 people wide, and they all should have a benefit of that one millisecond, these people have to be away from the PA 666 meters. Totally unusable. What can you do? You can increase the amount of time delay. Let's say we increase it to 10 milliseconds. PA, base of 20 meters, a row of people, wide 20 meters. They all should have a benefit. How far are they away from the PA system? Again, 66 meters. So you hardly reach anybody with a time difference and as a side effect you smash your signals with a, with a comp filter. That's not a solution, not at all. What I developed through all the years is uh, that I was thinking of overtones. You can make an even balanced mix for everybody in the whole arena when they hear the ground notes on the same level. So what do I do? I lower the overtones of a signal and I let the ground notes of a signal on the same level for all speakers, for the, all, for the whole audience. How do I do that? I put a signal which I want to be panned to the left side. I put it on the left speaker with no processing. On the right side I lower the high frequencies just by a tiny amount from minus 2 to minus 60 B. A minus 60 B level differences only in the overtone gives you the feeling of having the signal on the left side. The ground notes are the same for the people who can hear mono or the people in the middle who can hear stereo. Imagine again, signal is panned to the left side. The people on the right side still hear the ground notes and lowered high frequencies. 
that's more or less that what they see as well. So it's optical wise, it's correct for them. And the balances are still the same. When I have the budget and the possibility and the time, I can do something pretty interesting with the near fills. Let's think of a stage with eight near fills. Normally what you can do is, or normally what is seen is that you make the sound, you sum up the left and right signals to the near fills, to all near fills, same time and uh, mono. Of course, then you think the near fields, they only have to travel uh, two meters and then the main array or the in fields or whatever they take over. Um, that's not natural and there are ways to do it better with a lot of work, but there are interesting ways. There is one thing which is called the Delta Stereophonic System, which was invented in the 1970s in the East Germany. How does a DSS work? You have a stage and you separate the stage, when you have eight near fields, in eight fields. And each field comes to the loudspeakers with a different amount of delay. So let's assume the field on the far right side and you know the time delay which it has from the first field to the loudspeaker. When you are sitting here and this is your loudspeakers you're listening to, of course you have a bigger delay. So from the right side to the left side, from the right field, the time gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It has one issue. If you're sitting here, you want to listen to that signal over there and you're sitting in front of one loudspeaker and you have one loudspeaker there. To localize the sound in that direction, this loudspeaker has to come earlier than this loudspeaker. But in the real world, that does not really work because you have to add a little bit of extra delay on the next loudspeakers you are sitting to. So that makes it impossible to calculate it. And just to arrange that by feeling and hearing gets very confusing and will not work. What I do on top of that, I use the same method I use with my normal panorama system on the main fields, on the main loudspeakers. I decrease the higher frequencies the further I travel with the near fields in relation to the field where it is coming from. That means from the field far on the right side, the near field number one on the farthest right side has no de decrease on the high frequencies. The more I travel to the left, I decrease the high frequencies on the near fields only from that field. Vice versa, from the field from the left side to the right. This gives you the ability to calculate, to find the, the measurements of the fields on the stage, calculate the distances and then you can see what, or you just can calculate what time you have to add to that loudspeaker. And indeed, when you're sitting in front of that one and you want to listen to that, that works only by reducing the high frequencies and adding the right delay. What I do on, uh, on top, I I'm not using only the eight fields. I'm using in an orchestra, which is big, the eight fields by three. So I make three lines deepness in the orchestra, three lines by eight fields, which means I have 24 fields in total. Every field with its own time delay and its own frequency response to every single speaker. That ends up in a matrix of 192 connection points, each with its own delay, each with its own time difference, and each with its own equalization. It's a complex setup. On normal single shows, you don't have the time to do that. But on tours, you have the time and the possibility to do that. And the point about that is suddenly you start not to think about the near fields are only for the first two rows. You make the near fields more natural and you can reach a 
further distance. So the main system has to overtake the sound then maybe on the tenth row, not in the second row, not in the third row. What is the advantage you gain? In the first rows you have an audience, imagine that are most of the time the most expensive seat, wherever they sit they always have the right localization to every single field on stage where they are sitting. Besides of that, when you go through the third row, because the balance between the near fields and the main array balance is much more towards the near fields, you avoid the problem that the people are sitting in front of the stage, they have the main array system somewhere there, there the audio is taking place, so they see it there, but they hear it from up there. You avoid that problem and that gives you a much more natural sound.